I'm talking about the one on October 9th. The Kiva giveaway? Yes. Tell the nice people about the Kiva car party while I grab a plastic knife. Going to be the opportunity to win an electric car. We think, we think we're kind of the first one. Maybe somebody's done a Tesla through the years. But this is an opportunity to win the all-new Volkswagen ID4. Going to be amazing. you got to get a ticket. The party is so much fun at the Kiva Shrine. It's on a Saturday night, dancing, having a great time, and then we pull the balls back till somebody wins. Really, really a tremendous amount of fun. Um, please join us. I'm looking for my poster. I don't know where it went, but I'll get me one. We'll have one in here shortly. Um, it's $125, and that gets you two people in for dinner, dancing, live band, cocktails, everything, and then an opportunity to win either that car or you can take a Tiguan. If you're not ready to go electric, then that's not a problem. We're going to make a, an opportunity for you to be able to go a different way, which will be an all-new Volkswagen Tiguan. Uh, if you've never been to one of these, it's exciting. It's fun as everybody pulls back and we, we draw the balls out and draw out the names. You get down to that final 10, then we put everybody up in chairs and we do Calcuttas and we bet on it. It's just a lot, a lot of fun. you got to come. And we raise a lot of great money for a great group. So if you haven't been a part of that or you don't know anything about it, please go to their website for the Kiva group here in El Paso. And let me get one of the posters brought in real quick here. Hey, Christian, Christian, do, do me a favor. Bring me one of the Kiva Shrine posters. Would you okay. give away posters? It's on one of the desks. So everybody keeps taking them from us. to be a great time. Oh, did you get a knife? Yes. Okay, can I have mine back? Yes. Thanks. All right. All right, got it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is a that's one of my favorite events that happens in town. And we do a lot of events as you know, but that yeah. one is definitely very special to us. Please help us support it. Tickets can be bought through any Shriner or at the Shriner uh, offices or call them or the easy way to do it is come by Street Volkswagen. The girls have them. We have tickets here ready to rock and roll, ready to go. And, All right. You know, I, you know, not, not, the, but if you buy one here, probably, you know, it's probably going to be the winning ticket. So that's the way uh, I'm, uh, increase your odds. Mm -hmm. Get your ticket from Street Volkswagen. And the Kiba Shriners do so much for so many. And this is just one small way of doing something for them. Yeah, and maybe win in a cool car, right? In the process. And having a great evening and dancing and eating. And there you go. All right. So that has the, the, your choice of cars. You can either do the ID4 and become electric and get all buzzed, or you can go with the uh, you know, door prizes will be a choice of one of two cars. You can see that. Tickets are hundred dollars. I'm sorry. I called it one twenty five, they're one hundred. And there's lots of door prizes other than just the car. The silent auction, food drink. You can see the band that will be there is the Solano Project. Should be a lot of fun. There's the phone number right there to call. Oops, a little too much. There we go. Or, like I said, come see me at Street Volkswagen. We'll get you a ticket. There you go. All right. We agree. And you know what's good is on your way to Street Volkswagen, it's very easy to go by House Divided. Yeah, it I'm is. Every <laughs> time I take a bite out of this burger, what, an, what a great job. And these fries, they're mm, – they have a happy hour every weekday. Not happy hour, happy hour every weekday from three to seven. Happy hour? Happy hour. Like, That's I guess I'm deal. Yeah, half off. <laughs> I like that. I like <clears throat> That's a good term. Clever folks. Very, very clever. A and huge I, menu. I don't know why they left you a menu, but I've been there for lunch many times. Great menu. All yeah. Up high end all the way down to just great burgers, great nachos, great nachos. We've had several uh, station functions and things like that there where we all get together, and uh, it's just we always have a big old time. Mm. Awesome. Mm. Mm. Good choice. Uh oh, FedEx is delivering. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> we'll plug FedEx, I guess. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Uh, looks page. like good luck. What's that? So you made the front, the front page of that that, that uh, lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
what uh, what's happening other than that what's uh new regime we met the new boss yesterday mm -hmm. for the station cal super nice guy looked uh, got 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 a great mind set to what he wants to do where he wants to take the station what we want to do absolutely and, i'm excited for everybody to meet cal yeah we, we should have had him on the show today yeah i know you, I know you don't want to give up that extra burger you <laughs> It's all about me, John. You know that. Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> um, speaking of food, let's talk real quick about a food drive. And we always push that big food drive at Christmas. And it uh -huh. usually does a good job for them. But the food bank right now is really in need of food. So you guys are putting one together. Tell me a little bit about that, would you? Okay. You're gonna, folks are going to hear us talking about this a lot in the next uh, three or four weeks. But let me go ahead and tell them now. Coming up on September 25th, and people may remember we did this last year out in our parking lot. We're going to host another cash and cans drive for the High Plains Food Bank. And... Uh, and ask folks to come by, and they did so amazing. It, it was amazing what people uh, did last year. I mean, we had over a thousand pounds of food, and like three or four thousand dollars. I think they told us we provided forty thousand meals for people here wow. in the Panhandle. Wow! And that was right in the thick of the worst of of COVID. So it was a, an important event, and we asked folks in the Panhandle to step up, and of course they do, and always do. And they did uh, exceeded our expectations. So we're going to have music and we're going to have some uh, food and invite people to stop by on a Saturday afternoon, September 25th, between 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. And drop off whatever cash donation or food donation that they can. Figured Saturday was kind of grocery day for folks. So out and about and you can pick up an extra couple of macaroni uh, and cheese meals or whatever you got and drop them off while we're out here and we'd love to see you we're going to be masked up and with our gloves on being real careful for you so there's nothing nothing to worry about just come by and see us and uh, we'll take your donation of cash or cans for the high plains food bank i know i know peanut butter peanut butter is a good one peanut butter is always good a good one yeah you can keep it around for a long time and it's got a lot of protein and everybody likes it it's mm -hmm. tasty ramen soups they do well. Ramen soups. There's some great things to get people. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Okay. Well, like I said, we got to get Cal. We got to get Cal on the show so we can learn more about Cal and teach Cal more about about Amarillo. Yeah, I'm enjoying uh, teaching yeah. about Amarillo. We got lunch. I was wondering. Yeah. Did you get lunch? I was going to give you some. Oh, uh, I, I have a burger. I, I had lunch for y'all to split right there. Oh, good. Well, we'll Say hi. Me. This is my wife, Cat. Say hi. hi to everybody. Hi, Cat. So you're you're live right now. I'm live. <laughs> what am I live on? Tell her tell her what she's live on. We're uh, one hundred point nine the Eagles Facebook page. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, simultaneously on our uh, oh, what's it called now? The one with the YouTube YouTube oh, YouTube. Yeah. And House Divided provided our food for us today. Oh, that's wow. good. I got some for you guys. That's good. Just absolutely delicious. Yeah. So cats, cats yeah. working on things for Young Life. So maybe in, our next, maybe in our next one we'll do a deal. We'll do a deal for Young Life. We'll get Luke and great. come talk about it and, and and have a good time with it. So mm -hmm. what would you bring? Chop Chop. Oh, Chop Chop. Okay. Yeah. Right. And costumes for right. our skit. Okay. All right. <laughs> They're going to be working on skits. So Young Life is on Tuesday nights at the schools or is it Monday nights? Monday nights. Monday nights. It's not, yeah. yeah, Monday nights. Okay. Good to know. Great organization. They do great things. So I'd, I'd love to do one of these and talk about Young Life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Be a lot of fun. So we've uh, we've got Slug Bug coming up pretty soon. Those those posters are cool enough to just have to be, put something neat on your wall. Yeah, we, we're going to make, make sure David Mraz created this. He's our marketing director. And we're going to make sure we submit this this year, you know, for the uh, – for the different awards because i he really did do a fabulous job as you can yeah. look at the detail on the buses and the bug and the faces and you know when we, we need dia los bochitos bochitos is like a little bug so it oh, okay and then well but david did an amazing job 
putting that together. And that'll be Saturday, 6th of February, October 16th. And it's an outdoor event, so we should be plenty safe. We're going to be doing a lot of things. When we'll have masks and different things available, but we're going to be out there. And it's usually a nice breezy day in uh, Amarillo on October, so we should have plenty of wind to keep things uh, keep things moving around. So looking forward to that. We've got about um, 50 pre-entries. Started as a little show on our opening day back September 16th of 2013. I so remember that. This will be our eight eight. a couple of those. Y'all have uh, it's been, it's been fun. all the Volkswagen enthusiasts out there with the various, you know, micro buses and beetle bugs and whatever they've had for the years and years that they've had them. And exactly. they all get to meet each other and hang out and show their, their cars. And it's just a great time. Oh, man. They all they swap parts and sell parts and usually sell two or three of the cars. One guy buys one. It's, it's really fun. <laughs> it's really fun. Mm. That is a good burger. Mm -hmm. House divided. Yeah. they um, When the NFL kicks off, they, they pull big crowds. It's a lot of fun to go watch a game there. And they have a dog-friendly patio. <laughs> so you can bring Fluffy or Fido, hang out, have something cold and something hot out on the patio and bring bring the pooch. That's awesome. Yeah, isn't it? I did not know that. So that we learned something new today. That's always nice. That's always a plus. A good burger and education. <laughs> and I think the divided part, like if you look at their logo up there in the right deal, you, know, you can, there's kind of an outdoor one side, and then there's the sports bar kind of one side. Yeah. There's more of a traditional sit, very comfortable, very nice atmosphere to sit on the other side. So that's kind of where it gets its name. But no matter what your event is, whether you're celebrating a birthday or just looking for a beer, just a great place to go. And nobody's going to hassle you if. The Cowboys are playing the team that you like. You don't care for the Cowboys. <laughs> no reason to be divided. We'll all get along and watch the game, and nobody's going to come over and give you a bunch of grief. Even though they maybe they should, I don't think. <laughs> House divided where everybody gets along. How's that? Probably a good place to go. There's plenty of room. It's a big place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great staff. Great people. All right. So what else, anything else new at the uh, at the station you were talking about? You're going to have music for the uh, food drive. Is that live music or is it going to be? For a while. Is that your disco playlist from your iPod again? We're going to each play our station for a while during the day. KGNC FM and the Eagle. And then uh, the DJ at our, our We1029 is a DJ, like with the wiki, wiki, wiki and the spinning and all that. So he's going to come out there and do that thing. If you've never seen anybody do that, it's pretty amazing. Even if that music may be not your cup of tea, it is a big part of our culture now. So if you want to see somebody doing that, he'll be doing that. We've got to appreciate the artistry of it. I'm with you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Exactly. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, I don't follow the music as well, but I, I do appreciate the, the artistry of it. You do yeah. it. Right? I can't and then stop, yesterday, can't stop eating these chips. Oh I know. Gosh. Oh, kill me. Yesterday, I came by and brought Cal with me, and I picked up another Tiguan. And I thought, well, this is a this is the third Tiguan I've had. I know I kind of know the Tiguan now, but that 2018, that's a whole different animal, man. It's cool. It's Very got good. the Fender Audio, John, that we talked about about a year ago. That yeah. with that old John Mayer commercial where he plugs his guitar into the, you into the it like when you're driving, you can plug it right into it. <laughs> oh man, I saw that logo in the car. I went, "Holy cow, that's what's on my amplifier and a couple of my guitars." That's just too cool for school. And after I fixed the EQ, it was a little mid rangey for my taste. Boy, it's <laughs> blasting. That's that's awesome. Yeah, it really is. And it's got the big sunroof. And uh it's it's quite quite a neat neat ride. And it's a CPO. Right. The certified pre-owned comes yeah. with warranty, extra time, roadside assistance, key lockout, run out of gas, all those different things. Really, really cool. Yeah. Um yeah, that's uh it's still one of my favorite Volkswagens that we ever made. The safety side of that is crazy. German built. Mm -hmm. um, 
Autobahn designed 120 mile an hour crash test. Just our favorite car for um, for people to buy early drivers, your 16, 17 year old kids or whatever. Still cute enough, kind of different. Doesn't look like everybody else's, but the safety side is what everybody loves about those things. It does all kinds of little things to keep you safe, even if you're not going to keep you. <laughs> Very true. Well, what else was anything else was on your agenda for today? Let's see. Yeah, uh, the most we've eaten on one of these. I know. I'm going to go see the Aretha Franklin movie tonight. Kind of excited about that. That's right up your alley. Yeah, yeah. It's you, you were around for some of that. Some of that. Some of that. Not all of it, but some of it. Definitely remember her in the Blues Brothers movies. That's kind of my my speed. Yeah. Oh, I remember hearing it around the house. A yeah, bit. yeah. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, where, where do you go see that? What's that? Where are you going to see it? Out at the uh, Hollywood Cinemark. Okay. Meeting the family out there on uh, Holly on uh, 335 and Canyon Eway, Hollywood Road. Yeah, yeah. So they're 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 back open. Everything's good. Yes, so and they've got those nice uh, Barco lounger chairs. And the uh, snack servers are all masked up and uh, following the protocol. And anyway, they've been real good. And uh, that's where the family and I like to meet up. That's good. You know, is when you're there, with your family and you don't want to have to talk a lot, <laughs> a movie is just the ticket. <laughs> it is. You show up right at the previews. Right. What is your, uh, you hear how crisp those chips are. That's how good. Yeah. What is your go-to there? What uh, when you what do you order? What's your what's your favorite? Uh, They've got pizza. Pizza, okay. Although I don't know if I'll have uh, any room after this burger, but when I am hungry, I have to go straight from work, and I haven't eaten. I'll get a little uh, one of those small mini pizzas. They're great. Oh, our our, our friend Kim Stewart there. Like, look, she's. I guess she's already seen the movie. She says yeah. the pizza movie is awesome. Well, that's cool. Good to hear. I guess I guess it's been out for a little while. It's been out for a little over a week, Kim. I know Kim's been trying not to tell me about it, you know, until I can see it. So I assured her that I would go as soon as I could. Hey. We saw the uh, free guy last week, the one with Ryan Reynolds, where he lives in a video game. That's pretty entertaining. Fun for the whole family. I'm, I'm, I'm probably the worst there is about that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to remember the last movie that I sat in a movie theater, and I'm pretty sure it was in 1999 in Nashville, Tennessee. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, shows you, shows you how much life I have. I, right. I just kind of, I guess I catch them now. We do watch Netflix, and Kat and I like a bunch of that. We watch Amazon for some movies, and I guess we just kind of catch up on them later on, but uh, most of the time we're here just pedaling cars. Right, and you've got all those events. You've got the the, the Kiva <laughs> car party, and you've got the slug bug, and so much going on. When do you have time to go to a movie? Uh, we had so much stuff going with the chamber. Lots of fun going on there. We did the drive. We got the chamber barbecue coming up pretty quickly. Um, you know what? I got an email yesterday, just for like the next couple of weeks. Well, the different things we have going on, I don't know what I did with it, but anyway, um, that's the one great thing about Amarillo. There's always so much going on. There's always so much to do. You know, you just you just have to look for it. So, and I think that's part of the problem. Sod poodles, you know, we got sod poodles. Where uh, I think we'll be there tonight. So. I've got tickets for September 12th and then the one after that. Okay. Take yeah. and pop out to a couple of games. Yeah, we have our. Um, so let's see. We have the Crime Stopper Char, Car, Char Show. Charco. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's how good the burger is. I'm still. Yeah. I have to tell you the truth. There's nothing left of my lunch. So wow. hats, off, uh, hats off to you. That Wow. What a great. We've had some great lunches. That one's right up there with the best of them, no doubt. So anyway, we have the Crime Stoppers Car Show, September 3rd and 4th, which is, uh, gosh, that's a week from this weekend, right? Right. 
about eight days from now. That will be a fun one. If you haven't been to it, that's a great show. There's some of the coolest cars in Amarillo that you can imagine. That was a big surprise to me when I first moved up here from El Paso back in 13. I went to to the um, that first Make-A-Wish car show with Ken and his group, you know, from uh, Ken's Car Colors with Barry. Right. Those guys all put it on. I couldn't believe the quality level of cars and street rods and different things in this town. Top notch from Shelby's to vintage Corvettes to Volkswagen's. Really amazing. And then we've got the we've got the fair is on September 18th. Got that coming up. And with Tri-State, we'll be doing a bunch with them. And then we have a really fun conference coming up with uh, the Ad Federation. I talked to you about that yesterday with Cal. Yeah. We want Cal to attend that. That'll be downtown on September 23rd. Chamber Barbecue, October 6th and 7th. Uh, Homecoming Parade for WA, uh, for WT on October 9th. So we've got plenty of going on there. And then the big dog, October 16th, calling all slug buds. So yeah. we're live, running, and having a good time with all that kind of stuff. So you're right. We've uh, we got a few events every weekend. Some, I guess I guess that does keep me from making it to the movies very often. Huh? Understandable. Yeah, a lot of fun. We okay. just had the uh, – we were just part of the uh, – oh, here's one you like. We just had the uh, Polk Street Cruise. Oh, one of my favorites. Let's see. So much fun. Whose GTO was it? Is that there it is? Were you riding in that? No, no. I'm taking the picture. Okay. Well, Morgan and I were judges. Here, this is a pretty neat little roadster. Oh, that is a very nice roadster. Yeah, a little 20, uh, 29 or 28. Uh-huh. Very cool. And we get to give out trophies for uh, various categories. Um Loudest pipes, biggest tires, uh, and then the, the one I gave the uh, trophy for best in show, John, was a 1976 Oldsmobile 98 with the original upholstery, and uh, I've got a picture of that in here. I mean, oh, here's a... That's probably my grandmother's old car. That's what she drove and loved them. There's a little... Uh, yeah, a little slug bug time. Hopefully people were punching each other. <laughs> 60, boy, 60 something, probably 68, 69, a slug bug. Awesome. And here's the uh, the old. So many beautiful cars and great people that own them. We're down there. We got a little rain that afternoon. Yep. <laughs> rain and wind, and uh, we were under an easy up. And here's the upholstery in that uh, 76 olds. Look at that. Boy, those were, that was some luxurious seats, baby. Yeah. Get in there, want to take a nap. Got the tilt retractable away steering wheel. I told him, I said, I want to sleep in that. <laughs> it was the old 98. There were a lot of couches in a lot of people's houses that looked just like that. So. And here's the uh, guy holding up. Uh, let's see if I can get a better picture of the car itself. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look, boy, that thing is in great shape. It's an 88, isn't it? I think it's a 98. It said 98 on the side. Well, then it was. Yeah, it was hard to tell. Same same growth stuff. The, the 98 is just bigger. Yeah, that's what it is. Love it. A brome, a broham, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Come see me there, broham. So when's the Make-A-Wish car show coming up? Make-A-Wish is – that show is usually that's, – that's that March time frame or whatever. There's a little time on Make-A-Wish. Crime Stoppers is the oh, next. Crime Stoppers, yeah, that's what I was. Yeah, thinking. yeah. that's that's set up as Friday, but then the car show is Saturday, September third, so a week from today. Uh, I think they'll have a great show. A lot of attendance. We get get a lot of people, so it's uh, it, from ten to four. I don't think they do Sunday. I'm almost positive it's just a Saturday event. It's a one day event. The um, Make a Wish with Barry and his group, uh, Barry Henson. That'll be uh, that's a two day show. And it, boy, it takes the whole Civic Center to put that show on. That's a big dog. So a lot of fun. Sometimes they kick us some tickets to give away to folks. So if, if they do, keep listening. We'll we'll try to get put some in your hand. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and if you haven't been to either one of the dirt tracks this year, the Silver Dollar Raceway or the Route 66, if you haven't been enjoying any of the dirt track racing that's going on in this town, the caliber, I, I, I've been the last couple of weeks, here and there and been to each one of them. Wow. Uh, the caliber of racing is fantastic. So if you're not going to the movie to see Aretha Franklin, right. <laughs> Friday or Saturday night, 
try Silver Dollar Raceway or Route 66. Well worth the price of admission. Last last uh, they got rained out Saturday night. Sunday show with the with the sprint cars, unbelievable. Crowd was huge. Cars were crazy fast. Wonderful, wonderful racing. Yeah. Route 66 had us out uh, about two months ago, and uh, I had to you know you have to walk pretty far away to get your uh, remote break done. <laughs> pretty loud. It's pretty loud, but it's great. It was, I had a blast. It was yeah. wonderful. We had a great yeah. time out there, and they were so nice to us. Everything was. You know, they were so cordial and made sure we had water and good place to sit and everything was nice. No, oh, there's no question. That's great time. It is a great time. And that's just one more thing like we were just talking about. Just one more thing to be able to do in Amarillo, Texas. There's just so much going on. If you look, and there's, you know, of course, you can always go down to the canyon. That's always a great time. Texas has now ended. That was a big thing through the summer. They had a great season. I'll be back next summer. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. Yeah, they, they do a really good job putting that thing on. So there, there is just so much to do and um, so much to be a part of. We just live in such a great community. This is such a fun city to live in and just does so much for us. And that's why we enjoy doing so much for them. And that's why, you know, that the list of events I gave you, that's, that's just for Elvis and uh, David to take care of. We've got so many other things. The Young Life Clay Shoot is this Saturday morning. Got things going on with them. Tuesday we'll be with Young Life out at the uh, out of uh, Emerald High. So just lots of different things going on that we love to support and work with this youth because uh, pretty soon one of these days you and I got to quit doing what we're doing and we're gonna have to pass this on to somebody. So. Right. Okay. We're taking care of it for you. Yeah, there's no doubt. Until you're ready to step up and take the torch. Yeah. Yeah. We just. Uh, you know, there's, you, you read and you hear a lot about the shortage of cars right now because of the um, semiconductors and the different things going on. But we've, mm -hmm. we've still been able to get our hands on the ones that uh, that we need to get a hold of. And if you're, so if you are looking for a car, just a cheap plug, you know, we'll, uh, we can find you what you're looking for. You guys have an incredible inventory. I was thinking about that when I was looking around yesterday when we were out there. I thought, oh, these guys aren't hurting for cars, man. You got plenty of stuff on the lot. Good looking, good looking vehicles. Yeah, I've got you on one screen. I have two screens in my office. I have you on one screen. I have the auction on the other one. <laughs> okay. even, even during this. So we spend, uh, there's three of us, Dan and Kyle and I, we spend all day, pretty much every day in our free time finding cars. Right. In the U.S., bringing them in. And uh, we've we've just got some amazing automobiles in stock right now. There's just some great buys. Whether you're looking for a dually truck, it is definitely truck season. And we've got plenty of them. And it's that time of the year. And people are going back to work and things are going on. So if you are looking for a truck, we've got them in every category that you can think of. So I'm pretty impressed. It looks like neither one of us, that burger was so good, we didn't drip any of it. Uh, well, not on my shirt, not on your shirt. Even though not on my shirt, but I got a little on my, uh, oh. on my shorts here. <laughs> I'm guessing, is that is that a uh, is that a Rolling Stone tongue? Is that which Yeah, we're on? still kind of in mourning the loss of the great Charlie Watts. Yeah. So... Mm -hmm. Figured, figured. That happens, you know, like you were saying, you're passing the torch and you, you know, those guys aren't going to be around forever. And that, that second generation of uh, artists and musicians, we're starting to lose those guys. Uh, Don Everly last week and uh, Charlie Watts. It's just, it's, it, you know, go see a concert when you can. You yeah. never know when it might be your last opportunity to see it. Yeah. And let me tell you, some of them are better than they were. I mean, we, we had the opportunity a couple of years ago to see James Taylor, and I'd seen him quite a bit as a kid. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievably so much better now. We saw Boss Skaggs in the little little Plaza Theater deal in El Paso, Texas. Two and a half hours, him, no shoes, just him and a guitar, one little pseudo drum guy behind him. And, oh, my gosh, the stories and telling and where the music came from and going through that. And, and uh, really, really good. There is a um, there's a documentary out right now about David Crosby. Yeah, Paul, Nash and Young. If you if you love music and you haven't watched that yet, you you can bring it up on Netflix. You really got to watch that, and you really get an idea from '68 right before Woodstock into Woodstock, and then what that all did to their careers for those next ten years and the strifes they went through and, and living where they all. California and the, and the influence of the drug culture. It's just, yeah. I started watching it on the treadmill and I looked down, I'd been, I, it was like an hour and 10 minutes on the <laughs> treadmill 
I just <laughs> it was so interesting that all the careers, you know, he he gave Jackson Brown his start. He gave, yeah. I, mean, I mean, just the names that that went through with him, and wow, amazing. And um, well, he talks about a lot of years. He doesn't remember any of it. <laughs> It, and sadly enough, as he says, I mean, he, he watches it for him to watch it. He says he watches some of that video and it's no different than you watching it. Right. He doesn't he doesn't remember it from being there, just remembers it from seeing it. So it was a different era. I was a, I, I grew up in part of that, you know, yeah. and was definitely a child of the 70s. And it was a it was a lot of fun. It was just different. So but there's a lot of fun now, too. So we, we enjoy being a part of it. But Absolutely. Thanks everybody for joining us today. I think our time has ended. Sure. Uh, so we will uh, we'll do this again real soon, and uh, we'll let you know who our sponsor is. But we definitely huge, huge tip of the hat to uh, House Divided. Man, that that was delicious. I wouldn't think about having a beer and a burger and then watching a game anywhere else. That's that's just a great place to go. House Divided. I agree. Easy to get to. Plenty of parking. Just great people. Seventy six oh nine Hillside. And John, you've been a great uh, host. Thank you very much for doing this with us today. Always. Thank you. Thanks to everybody for being a part of it. If you need anything in the automotive realm, Street Volkswagen, just come see us. I'm always here. 5,000 South Sansi. I'll probably be there before too long. Okay, buddy. Talk soon. Thanks. All right. Take care, John. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.